welcome. I'm JC Proton, starting a new Let's Play series. This one's going to be uh, a custom Horatio faction on endless difficulty. And uh, let's see, we're going to be playing with the Valters expansion. Um, I, I could do the others, but I'm, I'm choosing to just go with the Valters on this one. And so we're just going with the Vaulters, and we're going to do a new game. Uh, these are the competitors. We'll be facing everybody. Vodiani, Unfallen, United Empire, Sofans, Cravers, Rift, Warren, Lumeris, and Vaulters. Um, along with us, the Horatio. But this will be the Super Horatio. <laughs> Aren't I divine? Aren't you? Uh, so... Uh, We'll run through it real quick here. Uh, Gene Hunter, Affinity, uh, as playing as Horatio. Uh, I made the home planet Atoll, because I like it better than Mediterranean, right? Uh, government is a federation uh, instead of a dictatorship. Uh, federation is nice. It gives you uh, additional systems for over-colonization penalty with leaders in the Senate of that uh, that are represented. Uh, and then you also have uh, minus 20% system development luxury cost upgrades on your systems. And then I'm also going with, let's see, well, I'll go into that more. Uh, you have, a, I'm going with ecologists like normal, um, and I'm going with uh, harvesters to help a little bit with uh, a little bit extra indus industrial faction, political party, whatever. Uh, sticking with Pacified Collective, just like Horatio normally has. Um, for racial affinities, I'm going with Extreme Foreman. Uh, it causes depletion, but it gives a really big uh, FIDS boost. Um, and so I'm going with Planet Menders to help reduce the amount of depletion that I'm getting. And then I'm also going with Sower Citizens to help reduce depletion. And then um, I'll be able to, once I splice them, it'll basically balance out the depletion. So I won't really have to deal with depletion anymore. Um, a Senators uh, helps with uh, lower, lower cost laws, right? And then also uh, Federation uses influence for the, their elections, uh, for their election modifier. So half costs on election actions. So that's, that's great. Um, help with that influence. Uh, construction is three for extra 30% industry. Uh, Hyperium and, and uh, titanium sources. Um, because I'm going to be playing on scarce resources uh, on this game, so I want to make sure that I have access to Hyperium and titanium. Uh, luxury con connoisseurs, uh, another reduction on system development upgrade cost as far as uh, luxury resources go. A material expertise, I can use strategic resources uh, for system upgrades, and so I'll probably be using titanium. And then, um, yeah, you have to have a way to pay for all these uh, these big bonuses here. I'm going with vexed, so minus 15 approval uh, starting out on all systems. So that makes it tougher. <laughs> Definitely makes it tougher. Uh, over time, that should gradually. Uh, get balanced out by we will come across and splice uh, populations uh, of minor civilizations that have uh, a approval bonus per pop. Uh, so over time that that'll become less of an issue. Okay, so um, let's run through this. I'm going to go no pirates this time. Last time I had uh, a lot of pirates. I'm going to go with uh, endless difficulty and endless speed, so it's 600 turns. Uh, last time I had a, a low number of civ, minor civs. I'm going to go a lot this time. And uh, last time I, I won with a conquest victory, so I've disabled that as a victory condition this time. Um, so we'll do some other victory, assuming I win, and then uh, still leaving these uh, enabled. As far as the galaxy setup, I'm going with an ovoid galaxy of the biggest size allowed, exceptional, uh, lots of constellations. Um, 
Uh, so it will be scattered, I think it will be 13 different constellations, um, high density, so that there will be uh, more of them to populate. Um, and uh, resource, anomalies, curiosities also will be scarce along with special nodes, um, star-based star planet order, so hotter planets on the inside. That's just for visual. Um, standard empire spawn, uh, so it's spread, people are spread out across the map in different constellations. Normal home system, uh, definitely like that over chaotic. Chaotic, you get all kinds of crazy stuff, and it's usually not good. <laughs> uh, galaxy generation seed is zero, so it's going to be random. If you wanted to, you could uh, put numbers in there, and then you could play the, the that same map over and over if you wanted to. Um, you could also... Let's go ahead and get this started. You could also... Um, use like uh, super pro vision mod uh, on a map like that and so that you could immediately see what the whole map looked like and decide if you wanted to play it or not so you could you could uh, try out lots of different maps and uh, just basically document as you go along uh, and then find one or two that you really like and uh, make a note of those and uh, come back and play them sometime uh, and you'll already kind of have a heads up of how the galaxy is laid out um, just like the AI players do. They, if you'll notice, the AI players, whenever they're sending probes out into deep space, 100% of the time it's online to spot a, uh, like a constellation or a system or something out there. They, they, they never waste probes, it seems like. So um, whenever I see them send one out, I usually will send one right on top of it. <laughs> see, hey, what do you see out there? I want to see it too. So I think the computer play, the AI players already know what the map layout is. Um, it would seem. So maybe you you could see doing that as kind of leveling the playing field. Maybe they 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 still do cheat in their own little ways. I think. The rules they play by are a little bit different than ours. They only ever saw what was in the mirror. I always saw what was beyond. They saw deformity. I found beauty. They saw But soon, very soon, they will see it as well. Okay, kind of a rough start. Kind of a rough start. We got a couple hot planets here, but we only have one fertile planet, and that's uh, that's not great. You really want to have, you really want to have two, and sometimes you're lucky you'll get three fertile planets to start with. But this one. We just have the one, so not a great start already. Not great, okay.
eat an incense. Wow. Okay. That's looking up. That's our booster. Okay. That's pretty good. That's pretty good then. All right. Well, if we have access to Eden Incense, then that was going to help us. That's going to help us. Laggy, that's not a good sign. That usually means the recording might crap out. We'll see. This is my approval. Is it 35? I cannot pass a law right now. Short range. Okay. Okay, I'm going to take a break right here just to see if this recording is still recording or not. So, um, So please uh, like, subscribe, comment, and uh, we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.